perfect, perfect. Friday and I, last night I was in Los Angeles on the first street bridge jumping a car with Lindsay Lohan and today I'm in Moxie's bar in Borderlands. It's a little overwhelming. The goal of course is you're taking something people love and you're putting it onto a, you're transforming it to a screen and you hope that the fans love it. So I play a scientist um, who helps Lilith who is Kate Blanchett try to find the secret key to unlock something. And I was a friend of her mother's. It's a multi-universal uh, group. We have people from, you know, Serbia. We have people from England. We have people from Australia. Like, it's a diverse group. And then Kevin Hart. <laughs> and uh, it was special. Bonkers, bonding, beautiful. Uh, I mean, look, it's amazing. Getting to see fans at this level is definitely an experience. Um, you know, people that embrace not just the video games or the movies, um, but the ideas, the creativity. So to be lucky enough to be a part of a project that gets to be at the forefront of something like this, it's big. I don't take it for granted. Um, I love it, and I hope that the fans are blown away by what we're able to give to them. I think they will be in for a treat. I haven't been here for quite a few years now. I've been a bunch. These are my people. Anyone out there who knows me knows that I have been a geek for a very long time. So this is like, this is kind of like coming home. It feels nice for me. There are a lot of things that you might be lucky enough to be cast in and work on or whatever, but when you actually get to be a part of something that has a fandom of its own, it is like your heart hits the jackpot. It's, you get to share it with people from the moment you enter its universe. Knox has a past with Roland, and you know what? He kind of left, and um, that sucks. And uh, I, I would say that Knox is not a, the type of girl that you want to just ghost. She's kind of not the one. Um, and so she's not just following orders, but she's got a little bit of a, a mission of the heart as well. I mean, when this kind of opportunity came around, I was like, how do I, where do I, when, how do I get on a plane and go to, go to Budapest now? These people are not just professionals, but they're fucking funny. And some of them are weird. And <laughs> it's the kind of weird you want to be around. So you got the talent, you got all that stuff too, but they're just like, Fun. And we worked so hard for this to actually nail the, the atmosphere and the vibe of the game. Now we finally come out. I think we nailed it, but I can't wait for the fans to, to actually see it and I can't wait for August 9th. And then, you know, the fans have to decide if we nailed it, but I think we did. First of all, it was probably the toughest preparation that I had so far because I was shirtless 24 seven. So there was no cheat days allowed. I had to be in top shape no matter what. Because even if you look at the character, he's in unreal shape. And that was the goal. And you know, even like my favorite scene is the one with Kevin, with Roland, when we're stepping into the beer tunnels and fighting against hundreds and hundreds of bandits. And that was a work of like four weeks to actually get the choreography down. Um, I think the, the action sequences, the fight scenes are fire. It's a huge privilege, you know, me coming in and then looking at the cast who is like, the most incredible cast you could imagine, you could hope for. We have two Oscar winners in Kate and Jamie. We have a global superstar in Kevin. 
um, Edgar Ramirez, who's, who I personally was idolizing for a very long time. Ariana, who's probably the most talented young girl I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it's, I mean, Comic-Con is always, I mean, it never gets old. I mean, it's always an experience, you know? I, I, just, I, just, I just love how movies and franchises suddenly fall into the scope of Comic-Con. It's fascinating to me. I mean, I hope, I hope that they're, they're, they feel happy and, and satisfied that the, that the essence of the, of the game has been successfully translated into, into cinema. And I also hope that they enjoy what the movie adds to the, to the franchise. Now, it was, really, it was really great. I mean, we, we, we've, been, we've been talking about it all day, that it doesn't happen, it doesn't necessarily happen on all movies. The fact that we all really connected with each other and we all became really good friends, we love each other and we stayed in each other's lives. You know, this is a gigantic film. It's um, bonkers, outrageous, and uh, hungover. It's a dream come true, to be honest. I, I've never been, I've been to a lot of conventions in my day, but I've never been to San Diego Comic Con. And to be here with the cast of Borderlands is really a dream come true. I'm delighted. Kate is Kate, and uh, I think it was the intrepid leader of us all, but, but Ariana is so magnificent, and people are going to love her in the role. Jack. Edgar, Bobby, Janina, it's, it's unbelievable, honestly, the, the number of people that came together to be, to tell this story. Well, Marcus is irascible, uh, very profit focused, uh, but also I think more invested perhaps in people than he lets on. It's been a real honor to be able to pick up the mantle that Bruce DeBose created, making the character across all of these titles for this enterprise. Eli, a mad genius to begin with, and this is like throwing uh, uh, kerosene on a fire, putting him in charge of this kind of a crazy group, disappointing the fans of a video game you don't want to do. So Randy was really there keeping us honest, making sure we knew a Jacobs from a, a Vladoff, bat shit, crazy. I've never been here before. I've, I grew up here, and I was born here, but I, I never came to um, Comic-Con before. Well, I mean, I love the game. I mean, the video game was iconic. Um, I'm a gamer. I'm 52, it's fine. I couldn't even believe that I was asked to do the movie, and even when I was shooting it, I was like, I can't even believe I'm in it. And even now, I really believe that I'm here, so, but um, what a great cast. Oh, three words. Zany, action, packed. It's been unbelievable. I mean, here we are in Moxie's bar. It's great to see the fan enthusiasm. It's great to feel the energy. And people have seen the movie and they love it. So it's fun to talk to all the journalists about their experience watching it. And I just can't wait for the movie to open. I think they're going to love the energy, the fun, and the chaos and the mayhem of it. You know, it's obviously different. It's a different experience. You know, when you're playing the game, that is one thing, and watching a movie is another thing. But so it's an adaptation, and there, I definitely think we caught the spirit and the fun of the game, and I think we're going to have a great time. I love Comic-Con. It's so great to be back, and I think this is the first time I've ever been to Comic-Con for a movie that I've been involved with. Usually I'm here for video games. It was really important to me for all of the fans of our video games, for them to feel like the film respected and was authentic to the world that we created, that I created. Unbelievable cast. I, I mean, Kevin Hart's one of the biggest actors in the world. Kate Blanchett is an Academy Award winning, one of the finest actors in the world. Legendary Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, for these folks to want to be involved in my dumb little video game, like, it's amazing. I think the fans of Borderlands are going to notice the little subtleties, the little details that the crew and the cast and Eli helped help me and help us kind of get in there, I think that's going to be a big deal. Borderlands in three words, chaos loves company. When we were first developing this movie, obviously my dream the entire time was to see it at Comic-Con. <laughs> um, as a fangirl, like ride or die, since I was very young, the dream was Comic-Con. I hope they feel like, they, that they feel our love as well and that we're like expanding that community to like even more people to be Borderlands fans. I hope they, they love the swagger of it. We hope they're proud to share it, you know? Like that's, that's what I'm hoping that they really 
are able to like latch onto for them. On set to see them bouncing off of each other and just and just like that energy crackling um, because I think they all brought sides out of each other that they weren't even necessarily expecting themselves. But to have them in a room, it it was so entertaining and it's so much fun. And Randy's just been like such an important creative partner all the way through. Like we just always wanted to make sure that like it felt true to what he built. Um, and that's all we've ever wanted to do. I would say swagger, chaos, and love. Obviously it feels amazing. It's, uh, it was like a fun, long journey. You know, I think we've, Randy and I, we've been working together for about 10 years on this. And uh, just really proud and so happy that we're here now. And it's great to be celebrating with everybody. I mean, that was it. Every time somebody signed on to the movie, it was one of those, like, I can't believe it happened situations. And they were all so gung-ho and loving it. I think they're going to love that it's going to feel like what they love about Borderlands. I mean, when I first played Borderlands, it wasn't to see if there was a movie. It was just, I like Borderlands. I think the movie captures that spirit of just adventure and a little dysfunction and a lot of joy. I mean, it was wonderful. I mean, Emmy was actually there for the whole journey with me. And uh, when Eli came on board, it just energized the whole movie. And, uh, you know, making a movie is always hard. So having uh, Eli leading it was just fantastic. Mayhem and joy. I going to stop you off again. It's intense, I see it. I can do this every day, but it's only maybe one opportunity to get to see you. Yeah, a lot of it. Nope. How you doing, man? Oh, there you go. Hold it up for a second. There we go. Amazing. It was a uh,